Now, as Dorian finally, and we mean finally, moves north, many coastal communities are going to feel the strongest impacts today. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska is in, in, in St. Augustine, where people are hoping the steps that they've taken to protect that historic city will hold. The time to prepare for Hurricane Dorian is over. People have put out all of their sandbags. This plywood dam made of two by fours is braced here in front of this historic building to keep water from rushing in through the street. We're on A1A in 2016 during Hurricane Matthew. This street turned into a river. There are police officers manning each of the bridges. They will make a decision on whether to close those bridges depending upon the winds. They're expecting 40 mile per hour winds to close the bridges and then Anastasia Island will be seen off again a three to five foot storm surge the most impacts expected later today in this afternoon coming in and then from there the event should last throughout Wednesday night we're here in St. Augustine Michael Paluska ABC Action News